this week we have five artists painting five different murals. The Viaduct Arts Project is the first phase of making a mural district here in Central East Side. We have a ton of big blank walls in this area, which are just perfect canvases for artists. We had over 200 submissions come in from all over the state. I think we were really successful in finding artists that were already doing incredible work and then just trying to help provide them a platform to show their work on a larger scale. I think at first I was a little intimidated. It's my first large scale mural, but once we broke it up into some more like edible chunks, I'm not as worried about it today and we're making good progress. The title of the piece is Paradise, the Land of Rico Sueños. The main protagonist of the piece is uh, a luchador, like a wrestler, basically like shushing you, right? And there's this idea of, you know, this paradise and the American dream. It's kind of theater, like not a lot of people really get to achieve it. The, the luchador is like it, inviting you to like ignore all the problems and like at the end of the day it's a beautiful picture so like just be entertained. It all draws from like my experience being born an American with you know Mexican descent of this tradition and like you're always kind of stuck in the middle of both of these things. So there's a lot of there's a lot of conversations happening on, on the wall and in my head and hopefully with the viewer. design major and I, I usually work small scale so it's been a really good challenge for me to have work that is so visible and people can't really ignore it. Today I have my mom and dad with me. They made the drive from Denver to Portland and they've been awesome. They've done honestly more than I have today already. I learned how to use a lift. I'm not a huge fan of heights, so it's been a challenge for sure, but when I'm up there, if I like play the right music and just focus on painting, it's okay. I wanted to do something colorful and playful. I was thinking about childhood. Some of the colors were inspired by the colors of the Tanzanian flag because my dad is from Tanzania and it's becoming even more of a part of my identity the older I get. A lot of my work is about balancing or being in the middle because that's something that I identify with, being half black and half white. And I also think that growing up black in America is definitely a balancing act. And I think in both worlds, representation is important. And also getting to paint black bodies on a giant wall is awesome. I think Portland needs more of that. My name is Oliver Casillas and I live in Talent. I'm doing a mural painting. It's mainly about this portion of land that keeps the United States and Mexico together. It's called the Sonora Desert. They are just five colors showing in the sunset is when everything starts in the desert when all the animals start going out to do all their things. Yesterday was the first day that I met that wall. <laughs> and it was amazing and kind of intimidating, but it was cool. The story I want to share is all this beauty behind human things, behind human skin, races, behind anything that involves human, I want to share that in this wall. Right now, in this moment, with this mural, I'm in the feeling of excitement. <laughs> A lot, yeah. I 
lived in the Los Angeles County in the San Fernando Valley, and there's a lot of Chicano art happening in that city. So a lot of the things I saw growing up were mural works by artists who also have my background. I'm very interested in farm workers' rights and issues regarding the community I'm from. I wanted to take this opportunity to pay an homage to farm workers. We see three women tending to produce. And I chose to depict women because I wanted to give them some sort of agency and some sort of place to shine a bit. It's my first mural in Portland, Oregon. I already like gravitate towards work like this to begin with. And like art has its role in politics and I hope that this helps in some way. The process is definitely new for me. Using heavy equipment to make art is something that's kind of new. The concept for the design is the bike ride, a lot like a lot of the social rides that happen here in Portland. And the procession is being led by a little skeleton on a ghost bike, which if you're not familiar, ghost bikes are bikes that have been painted white that are put up as memorials at the sites of crashes that end in a fatality of a cyclist. This mural is significant to me because of the mix of art and cycling and community and activism. The general idea is that it's something that's going to be pleasing and fun, but if you take a moment and examine it, then people are going to kind of understand that when we're riding, we're always kind of riding with the memory of people that we needed to make the streets safer for and that hopefully they are now safer for everyone who follows. I think the power of street art and murals happens when, you know, someone's just walking down the street and they're hit with this piece of art that they weren't expecting. The future that I see here is that every single wall on every single warehouse is covered in art.